Now, the American Dental Association, what they tend to do is they hire a dentist to do a study. And they kind of let them know how they want the study to come out. And let me give you, for instance, there was a nun study that was very popular, and the American Dental Association used to tout this study to show that there was no connection between mercury coming out of fillings and changes in the brain. And what they did is they took two groups of nuns, a group of nuns that had dentures and a group of nuns that never had, that had mercury fillings. Dentures, mercury fillings. And they gave them cognitive tests. Turns out there was no difference. You think that's a great study. Any scientist will tell you that if you look at the nuns and you go back in their dental records, almost every nun that had dentures had mercury fillings in their mouth at one time because they had teeth at some time and they had fillings at some time. And unless you can document that none of those denture wearers had mercury fillings, it's not a, a good study. Most of the studies the ADA puts forth are like that. They're flawed in some way. So what our academy does is it raises money and independently, we, and, and we don't go to a dentist. Who, why would you go to a dentist if you want to know how much mercury is being uh, um, um, absorbed in the body or what's the effect or influence on tissues? You want biochemists, you want immunologists, you want toxicologists. So we raised money and went to these people and hired them and said, tell us what you find. We didn't say we want you to find this. We said, tell us, tell us the truth. 